Hi everyone. In this video I'll discuss how a knowledge of harmonized major and minor scales and specifically how a knowledge of the positions of the different seventh chords in these scales can be used to determine various scalic and or modal options to use when improvising. Before you watch this video I recommend that you watch my video on forming seventh chords from harmonized major and minor scales if you haven't already done so as this will give you the background knowledge you'll need for understanding the concepts I'll be discussing here. Also, before we begin, I want to say that while all of the concepts I'll be discussing are theoretically possible, it doesn't mean that they're the only options you can use when improvising, nor are they necessarily the best options to use in every situation. Certain concepts, therefore, may need to be modified or discarded depending on factors such as the style of the piece you're playing, and or the context in which the chords occur. With this in mind, let's begin. Major seventh chords occur on the tonic and subdominant of a harmonized major scale and on the submediant of a harmonized harmonic minor scale. A C major seventh chord therefore can be chord one in C major, chord four in G major, and chord 6 in the E harmonic minor scale. The scalic or modal options for improvising over a C major 7th chord therefore include the C Ionian mode or C major scale, the C Lydian mode, the fourth mode of the G major scale, the C Lydian sharp 2 mode, the sixth mode of the E harmonic minor scale, and the following blues and pentatonic scales. Collectively, these options produce the following note pool containing a series of semitones between its second and fifth degrees, which in this example are the notes D and G. Minor seventh chords occur on the supertonic, mediant, and submediant of a harmonized major scale, the subdominant of a harmonized harmonic minor scale and on the supertonic of a harmonized melodic minor scale. A D minor 7th chord therefore can be chord 2 in C major, chord 3 in B flat major, chord 6 in F major, chord 4 in the A harmonic minor scale, and chord 2 in the C melodic minor scale. The scalic or modal options for improvising over a D minor 7th chord therefore include the D Dorian mode, the second mode of the C major scale, the D Phrygian mode, the third mode of the B flat major scale, the D Aeolian mode, the sixth mode of the F major scale, the D Dorian sharp 4 mode, the fourth mode of the A harmonic minor scale, the D Dorian flat 2 mode, the second mode of the C melodic minor scale, and the following blues and pentatonic scales. Collectively, these options produce the following note pool containing a series of semitones between its first and third and fourth and seventh degrees, which in this example are the notes D and F and G and C. Dominant 7th chords occur on the dominant of a harmonized major scale and harmonic minor scale, and the subdominant and dominant of a harmonized melodic minor scale. A G dominant 7th chord therefore can be chord 5 in C major, chord 5 in the C harmonic minor scale, chord 4 in the D melodic minor scale, and chord 5 in the C melodic minor scale. The scalical modal options for improvising over a G dominant 7th chord therefore include the G mixolydian mode, the 5th mode of the C major scale, the G phrygian dominant mode, the 5th mode of the C harmonic minor scale, the G lydian flat 7 mode, the 4th mode of the D melodic minor scale, the G mixolydian flat 6 mode, the fifth mode of the C melodic minor scale, and the following blues and pentatonic scales. 
Collectively, these options produce the following note pool containing a series of semitones between its first and second and third and seventh degrees, which in this example are the notes G and A and B and F. Half diminished or minor seventh flat five chords occur on the leading note of a harmonized major scale, the supertonic of a harmonized harmonic minor scale, and the submediant and leading note of a harmonized melodic minor scale. A B half diminished or B minor seventh flat five chord therefore can be chord seven in C major, chord two in the A harmonic minor scale, chord six in the D melodic minor scale, and chord seven in the C melodic minor scale. The scalic or modal options for improvising over a B half diminished or B minor seventh flat five chord therefore include the B Locrian mode, the seventh mode of the C major scale, the B Locrian sharp sixth mode, the second mode of the A harmonic minor scale, the B Locrian sharp two mode, the sixth mode of the D melodic minor scale, the B super Locrian mode, the seventh mode of the C melodic minor scale, and the following blues and pentatonic scales. Collectively, these options produce the following note pool, containing a series of semitones between its first and fifth and sixth and seventh degrees, which in this example are the notes B and F and G and A. The major seventh sharp five chord occurs on the mediant of the harmonized harmonic minor scale and the mediant of the harmonized melodic minor scale. A C major 7th sharp 5 chord therefore can be chord 3 in the A harmonic minor scale and A melodic minor scales. The scalic or modal options for improvising over a C major 7th sharp 5 chord therefore include the C Ionian sharp 5 mode, the third mode of the A harmonic minor scale, the C Lydian augmented mode, the third mode of the A melodic minor scale, and the following partial D blues and D minor pentatonic scales. Collectively, these options produce the following note pool containing a series of semitones between its third and sharp fourth degrees, which in this example are the notes E and F sharp. The minor major 7th chord occurs on the tonic of the harmonized harmonic minor and harmonized melodic minor scales. An A minor major 7th chord therefore can be chord 1 in the A harmonic minor or A melodic minor scales. The scalic or modal options for improvising over an A minor major 7th chord therefore include the A harmonic minor scale, the A melodic minor scale, and the following blues and pentatonic scales. Collectively, these options produce the following note pool containing a series of semitones between its fifth and sharp sixth degrees, which in this example are the notes E and F sharp. The diminished seventh chord occurs on the leading note of the harmonized harmonic minor scale. A G sharp diminished seventh chord therefore is chord seven in the A harmonic minor scale. The scalic or modal options for improvising over a G sharp diminished seventh chord therefore include the G sharp altered scale, the seventh mode of the A harmonic minor scale, and partial A minor and D minor pentatonic scales. Grouping notes like this is a great way of introducing chromaticism into your lines. Over major 7th chords, for example, if we initially think in terms of a major scale with the same root note as our major 7th chord, using the collective note pool we see that we can add notes between the 2nd and 3rd and 4th and 5th degrees. Because the structure of all major scales and all major 7th chords is identical, 
these extra note options will work over all major seventh chords. The same principle applies to all other chord types we have discussed. In this way, after memorizing the collective note pools of each chord type, we can begin using these additional notes to color otherwise diatonic major and minor scales. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.